kind of hope that it's going to be amazing, but we're about to watch top 10 games scarier than a Ouija board by the Amazing Top 10. If you don't know who Amazing Top 10 is, they do like a random type of videos, like scary videos, everything like that. But thank you so much for 72 subscribers. Yay! It's one of the best experiences of my life. And thank y'all so much for watching my videos. Y'all are my true fans. I am thankful that y'all are watching my stuff with me. And if y'all want a Coke, I got you a Coke. <laughs> but let's get into this video. I hope it's going to be good. I don't want anything bad happening to the stream real quick or my video because I did have to restart it and do this, did have to do that. But let's get into this video. I love y'all so much and thank you again for 72 fucking subscribers. Y'all are amazing. And let's get it in 3, 2, 1. Let's get it. Charlie, Charlie, are you here? Oh, hell no! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh god, oh god! Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. What the Bloody fuck? Mary. Bloody Mary! What? Yo, yo, what's going on here? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You've heard of Bloody Mary and Charlie Charlie? Games that can literally- <laughs> Who the fuck? Who is fucking Charlie Charlie? Is that fucking Charles Manson up in this bitch? Come on, bro. But I think I do know who Charlie Charlie is. If you don't know who Charlie Charlie is, Charlie Charlie is like when you have a piece of paper on your desk and then you have to write uh, like tic-tac-toe kind of but with only four lines. One going up and down, one going straight across. One box has yes, the other one has no. The other box on like the left part, like it goes opposite. Yes, no, yes, no, like that. And then they, you say, Charlie, Charlie, are you here? And then all of a sudden, the fucking pencil, there's pencils going like this, like a fucking cross. It's just bullshit. My bad for my uh, reputation of YouTube. I'm so sorry. That It's just stupid to me. I don't know why. Really summon demons and ghosts. Well, on today's list, I'll be talking about those creepy games and more. These games can be extremely dangerous. So uh -huh. please, whatever you do, don't play them. From a game that will bring you in direct communication with a demon to another that will make you see the devil. Let's talk about these and more with the top 10 games scarier than a Ouija board. Starting off this countdown, we have Bloody Mary. I wish I was talking about the cocktail here, but I'm not. Now, I feel like most of you have heard of this Wait, game. Wait, what? It was super popular when I was a kid, and I played it lots, so I'm surprised I'm not cursed. Anyways, there are a number of different ways to play the game. But the most common one is to go into a dark bathroom, look into the mirror, and chant Bloody Mary 3. I remember the playing this game. Some of my friends dared me to play it. And then all of a sudden I had to say Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And then all of a sudden I had to spin it around three times. It was nothing fucking happened. I hope nothing none of that shit happens to y'all because y'all are honestly one of my best people. I fucking love y'all. <laughs> Let's just get into this video. Times. Some say you must surround yourself by candles. Others claim you have to spin around while saying her name. Or you have to say, Bloody Mary, I believe in you. This supposedly summons Bloody Mary. Why would and if you it works, she will reach out of the mirror and scratch you. Or grab you and pull you back into the mirror with her. Apparently, <laughs> she grabs you to the whole another fucking dimension. Fucking, oh, I would just grab you real quick and pull you through. I don't know what's about to happen, but it's about to be a good fucking time, bros. But dude, come on. Why does that look like a, the fucking... I'm gonna put a fucking picture on what this girl kind of fucking looks like. Do you see that girl in the fucking mirror right there? Why does she look like Resident Evil Village? Why does, why does she look like that person who does that shit? Come on. Bloody Mary is described as a rotting, skeleton-looking woman with long, sharp nails, rotting flesh, and matted, dirty, and bloody hair. Some say she's eyeless. Others say she wears the eyes of her past victims. Either way, not a game I ever want to play again. In our ninth spot, we have the Devil's Face. 
This is the game for you if you have ever wanted to see what the devil looks like. Basically, it's simple. Go to your bathroom at night right before midnight. Why? Come on. What? Come on. Why would you? Okay, I can just see. I can just. This shit kind of. I'm fucking speechless. Why would you want to know what the fucking devil looks like when you already heard bad shit from him in the fucking Bible? Why would you do that? Ugh, people these days, dude. God. Stand in front of the dark mirror and close your eyes. When the clock strikes midnight, open your eyes and stare into the mirror. You should see the devil staring right back at you. Yeah! <laughs> like, get it? Like, you're the devil? <sighs> in our eighth spot, we have... <laughs> she even thought that her joke was stupid. <laughs> Look. <laughs> like, get it? Like, you're the devil? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm the devil. Come on. Alright, in spot we have Charlie Charlie. This game seems simple enough. Get a piece of paper, draw a grid on it so that there are four different sections, and write yes and See? See what I fucking told you? No in the boxes. Then take two pencils and balance one on top of the other. Start the game by saying Charlie Charlie are you like you have to put it in the middle so like the bottom one is going straight right but you have to bounce the other pencil to make it like levitate on the other pencil here if he is the pencils will move and it should point to yes then you can start to ask him yes or no questions now who exactly is this charlie boy well it ain't charlie brown that's for sure now there are a number of versions one claims he's a demon from mexico others say he's the ghost of someone who took their own life or the ghost of someone that died in a tragic accident either way <laughs> ja, ja, nine. Hey, i'm not trying to contact nobody from the afterlife no thank you Especially because Charlie has sinister intentions. Now guys, before I go any further, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You know the truth. This game, if done correctly, will summon a demon into your own home. Again, why is this considered a game? What's scary- Why- Why in your own fucking closet? Why in your own fucking closet? <laughs> is that this game is fairly easy. Yeah, it's easy. I thought this shit was going to be creepy. I thought this shit was going to be scary. This is not scary. To summon demons. Great. Anyway. I hope there's fucking videos at the end because if there is, this is, if there isn't, this fucking video is a fucking ripoff. All you have to do is stand in your closet in the night with an unlit match. Then out loud huh. you have to say, oh, I don't even want to say it. Show me the light or leave me in the darkness. Once you... Huh? I'm just saying, why would you ever want to fucking put a demon in your own fucking closet? Why would you ever want to do that? I mean, I know it's fun and games and all, but what happens if that actually fucking happens and you're over here saying, Bleh! Sounds like fucking... I forgot the name. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Good. You hear a faint whisper, light up the match. Oh, I'm getting shivers. Ugh. If you don't, you will be dragged off into the dark. Nobody gives a fuck. Darkness. If you light it in time, you're safe from this demon. But now, you've invited it to live in your closet. And you always have to... Oh, fuck that shit. No. Nah, I'm closing my damn fucking... Uh-uh. Nah. Nah, you got me twisted. 
You got me twisted. When I heard that shit, uh uh. That was a revive. I had to close my closet. <laughs> it was it. <laughs> my bad. To shut the closet door every night before bed. And you can never look inside the closet without a light on. Moving on to number six, we have the. Why would you game. fucking look? I think this one Why would you. F <sighs> First off. Why the fuck would you literally fucking put a demon in your own closet? Second off, why would you go, why would you even go near your closet if you fucking play the game? Come on, dude. I got her. <laughs> I got her. One has to be one of the scariest games on this list. And I don't know why game. it's considered a game. Like, it's not fun, and it can cause death or possession. The elevator game is said to be one of the world's most dangerous games. Now, there are a bunch of rules you have to follow. When done correctly, a lot, you can... A lot. A lot. The elevator game is fucking safe. It's... No, my fucking light is flickering. No. No. No, my light was flickering. I had to turn that shit off. I'm fine. I'm looking at my fuck. Hold up. Oh my. Visit another world. Basically, you have to be in an elevator that has at least 10 floors. When you're in the elevator, you have to press the floor buttons in a specific order. I ain't telling you because you guys aren't playing this game. After doing so, you press... She did something fucking smart. The fifth floor and a woman will enter the elevator with you. This woman is not alive. And it is deadly if you look or talk to her. <laughs> Then you're supposed to go to the 10th floor, which will bring you to another dimension. The other world is identical to ours, but with slight differences. Like maybe the lights will be off and electronics won't work. And you can encounter ghosts. Now there are reports of people who have played this game. Some have said that they ended up looking at this woman and now she haunts them. Others claim that- No, she literally stole that. Uh, what's that? What's that girl's name? Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? Sort of entity has followed them home. Seriously, do not try this game. Whatever you do, you might get trapped in another world and not be. My bad. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the three kings. What's For this game, you need kings? a large empty room without windows, candles, a bucket of water, and a mug, a fan, two large mirrors, three chairs, an alarm clock, and a bunch of others. How much shit did she just say from this one fu- From this one fucking game. Now, the steps for this to work are pretty elaborate. To play this game, you need to set up the mirrors facing each other with a chair in the middle. The chair is your throne. You're the king. The other chairs are the queen and the fool. The game starts at 3.30 a.m. You gotta sit in the chair with the lit candles and stare into the darkness. Basically, if you follow all the steps, you will transport your consciousness from this dimension into another. Some have said that they have seen other versions of themselves. Others have said they have gotten answers to their burning questions. Again, if done wrong, this could go very badly. In our fourth spot, we have one man hide and seek. Ever want to play hide and seek by yourself? No, just no. This game is said to summon the dead. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Basically, for this game, you call upon a spirit and present it with a doll that it can possess. And oh, then you wow. play hide and seek with this possessed doll. First off, you need to empty the doll of its stuffing and replace it with rice yeah. and hey. one of your fingernails or a strand of hair. Then you sew the doll back up. Then you place the doll in a tub filled with water and turn the lights off. You then fill your mouth with some salt water and then go back to the bathtub. The doll should be gone. Now, have fun playing hide and seek. You need to find her while still keeping that salty water in your mouth. Oh, and you have to find the doll in the dark. Complete darkness. The game ends once you have found the doll and poured the salt water from your mouth on it. Once the doll is dry, you need to burn the doll. People have reported that the game can go on for a very long time. 
this demon doll likes to play tricks with you. In our third spot, we have Sarah Sarita. This game is kind of close I, to that. I heard the fucking one man hide and see because she just brought it up and shit, but I never heard Sarah Sarita. I never heard Sarah Sarita. I never heard the that. whole Charlie Charlie game. Apparently, with this game, you can contact the ghosts of two sisters that passed away in Mexico. Others believe that the girls are demons from hell. Rumor has it that a number of people have been placed in mental institutions after playing this game. So, maybe don't try it. But if you do, you'll need a friend to do it with you. Sit facing each other, and you both have to hold a coin in your hand. Then chant together, Sarah Sarita, may we join your game. Then toss your coin. If you both get heads, it's a yes. You can join the game. If the coins land on tails, it means no, you can't join the game. If you get different sides, it means maybe, and you gotta ask again. Now, if you ask again and it tells you no, you can't play the game again, then apologize and leave the game. Now, if you did get a yes, then you are in the game and you can ask them any yes or no questions. Now, in order to leave the game, you have to say, Sarah Sarita, can I leave your game? Then you flip the coin. If you get a no, you need to keep playing until they say yes. But a lot of people have said that it's a difficult game to get out of. And if you don't end the game properly, then it could end very badly for you. And at number two, we have Concentrate. And it's not that game, Concentration. 64. You know, what? I don't, what is it? I don't even remember. Anyway, I'm just wondering who came up with these games because they are truly messed up. This game Bye. apparently shows you the way you're going to die. So to play this game, you need two people. It starts with one person closing their eyes. The other person stands behind them and says this very creepy chant. During the course of this chant, the chanter will pound on the person's back with their fists. The chant itself is fairly long and creepy, so you won't catch me saying it. But when the chant is done, the chanter has to push the person forward just a little bit so they lose their balance. Then they open their eyes, and whatever color they see is the way that they're going to die. Like, blue means you're gonna drown, yellow means you'll be poisoned, orange means you'll die in a fire, brown means you'll get buried alive, so on and so on. Yeah, I'll pass. And in our number one spot, we have the Midnight Man. For this game, you are literally welcoming this terrifying creature known as the Midnight Man into your home. So in order to play, you need a candle, matches, salt, paper, a pen, a wooden door, and a drop of your own blood. First off, write your name on the paper with the pen and prick yourself and put your drop of blood on the paper. Then place this paper in front of the wooden door. Turn off all your lights and then light your candle. Once it's 11.59 at night, put your candle down and knock on the door Jesus. 22 times. The 22nd knock must be completed when the clock strikes midnight. Then open the door, blow out your candle, and close your door. Then immediately relight your candle. You have now welcomed the Midnight Man into your home. Now you have to move through your house without getting caught by him. You have to do this until 3.33 a.m. If you stay in one place longer than a few seconds, he'll catch you. If your candle goes out and you're unable to relight it within about 15 seconds, stop what you're doing, draw a circle of salt around you, and don't move until 3.33 a.m. Now, you can't leave your house until the game has ended, and you can't turn on any lights. Not following these sets of rules can end very badly for you. Now, you can't see this man, but if he's near you, you'll feel a sense of panic and dread. You'll start to hear voices and hallucinate. Some oh. say he catches you, he will haunt you for the rest of your life. Others say he'll rip out your organs. So, pick one. Haunt for your rest of your life or lose your organs. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which game you found the creepiest. And now, let's move on to our comment shout-out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from... Okay, that was kind of creepy in a way. I did not kind of like that in a way. Hold up. Oh, 24. Yeah, we're about to watch that one. 24 minutes. 15 scary videos that ended badly. Let's get it. In this video. Oh. Number 15. Fishing during a lightning storm. The Coast Guard comes to save the day. Lightning strike the boat about 100 miles off the coast of Clearwater, Florida. Seven folks participated in a fishing tournament. Had to be airlifted out.
Luckily, no one was seriously injured, which gives me a huge sigh of relief. After all, everyone makes mistakes. Number 14. What? The Ritual. In this creepy video, oh. Ghost Hunter Luan Mendez and his team are investigating this spooky abandoned building. Oh. As they approach, one of the crew sees something, but what they find is not meant to be found. Opa. Okay, this... I, I di I'm not expecting this to get any fucking creepier. I just want to see what happens. Oh, this is about to get weird. Despite the freaky scene they enter, and they soon regret it. A bat? Really? You're getting afraid of a damn bat? After being bombarded by the bat, the team later hears a noise in the abandoned home. They look around to find its source. Ooh. Of course they flee, but the mystery of the figure draws them back in. Oh. <laughs> But the hooded figure has now disappeared. It appears to me as though the crew walked straight into a ritual. Like literally, this girl was literally in the corner just like literally fucking... Like that in the other fucking corner. And dude, my man ran fast out of that fucking thing. He said, uh, uh, I am getting my ass out, bro. I would fucking too, man. That shit would be creepy as hell. If I encountered that, I would literally just bolt. I really don't give a fuck what would happen. I'm leaving everybody. I'm getting my girl fucking picking her up and fucking bolting, bro. Of some kind. But what type of ritual is the million dollar question? Number 13. Haunted Orphanage. Our children still up. Oh, this. Oh, I don't like that, dude. That's giving me a fucking eerie vibe. Oh my god. Play in this haunted orphanage? Extinct File explores this abandoned place, and it looks like someone is watching them. First, they hear the sound of children, which sends one of them running. Oh, hell to the fucking no, bro. Their EMF meter captures some energy near the stairs. Mira, 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 mira. What? Soon after, their radios go off. Later, another reading puts them on edge. Okay. Okay. And while listening into the radio, they hear someone breathing. No mames. Oh, fuck that. And then oh, a voice. <laughs> but it is this shocking evidence at the end that proves this place is truly haunted. Oh, hell to the no. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm not fucking liking that shit one bit, bro. Ooh, that is creepy. Ooh, that, nah, uh, uh. Hell to the no, bro. Hell to the fucking no. Did you see that? Along with a strange groan, look at the doorway below. A shadow figure is watching. Who is... I'm about to fucking put something on. I'm gonna put, like, fucking top five. Nukes top five. Dude, I would not like that shit if I was you, bro. But this is the one I was talking about. I love Nuke, Nuke Top 5. Woo Tunnel Vision. This next video was sent in to popular Japanese ghost hunting team, Clip Store, by a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. You know why I like him? He talks about this and then after he shows the videos, he just shuts up and then when you watch it, he says, did you see it? Like he doesn't fucking talk in the middle of it. That's why he's a good YouTuber. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal and often spent his free time exploring well-known ghost spots in Japan. So one day his brother decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, I almost got, oh, I'm already getting chickens again. see it? After the man hears a creepy unexplained voice coming from right behind him, he quickly spins around to see an ominous dark figure standing right in front of him. Dude. A shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. Absolutely terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder. Because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. This horrifying video was found on the man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his- Oh, fuck that. <sighs> fuck that. Nah, ugh, fuck that shit. Nah, I would not like that. I would not, I would not hesitate. I, oh, I would be sad, dude. Oh, bro. Ah. All right, I'm going I'm to unpause the video and I'm about to get myself another Coke. I'm still going to be watching it. Don't you fucking worry. It's just like right here. Don't worry. I will be right back. It's death. So the Clip Store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual during their investigation. So could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? Let me know. The Viaduct Tavern. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations recently investigated the notoriously haunted Viaduct Tavern in London. The Viaduct has been around for hundreds of years and was built just a few Dude. yards away from the site of the- Dude, when I heard that shit, when I was just watching it from behind, I am so sorry. Dude, when I heard the- 
I fucking bolted back, looked at the door, I thought something, oof. Infamous old Newgate prison, where thousands of criminals were executed. The tavern's third floor was once a brothel where a lady of the night named Kate tragically lost her life. With such a long and dark history, it's no wonder that over the years, landlords, workers, and even visitors have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Nevertheless, the tavern has become a very popular local historical pub. The Ghost Tech team sets up several static cameras and begin their investigation on the third floor, where most of the supernatural activity has been witnessed. It doesn't take long before the three investigators start to hear very strange sounds coming from the floor wanna, right above their heads. Do you want to hear something satisfying? Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you walking. Why would you talk to him? There was a few footsteps on the floor above us. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the full floor. The creepy sound of someone walking can be heard on the fourth floor of the Viaduct Tavern. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be making contact with the spirit of Kate, the lady of the night that tragically passed away there long ago. Jeff, Phil, and Mark head up to the fourth floor to do a spirit box session. And what happens next is downright creepy. Oh, I love it when he says that too. It's downright creepy. I don't know why, but he does a perfect fucking job. If I knew... Your full name. I could look in the newspapers, the old newspapers, and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. Uh, that That's all I need from you, is your surname. So if I hold this out... Ooh. Guys. Yeah? Yeah. What have you caught? Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went yeah. across that window. Something did. While asking questions, Jeff captures a dark figure quickly moving in front of a window. Did you see how fucking fast that bitch was? Holy shit! She went meow. Not once, but twice. Jeff immediately alerts Damn. the team of what he's captured but they can't find any explanation for the bizarre encounter. And that isn't the only time the team captures something unexplainable that night. Back on the third floor, the three investigators begin to hear strange disembodied voices. And then this happens. There you go. That's what I was hearing. Shh. Okay, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. So she basically got murdered or what happened? I am so confused. Jesus. There was someone that stood by me. Okay. There was someone that stood right by me then. Oh, I don't know. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. 
Mark nearly jumps out of his skin as he sees someone standing right next to him. But when they look, there's no one there. However, when the ghost team reviews their recorded footage later, they realize that Mark actually did capture what he saw on camera. Now it can only be seen for a split second when slowing down the footage, but as Mark spins around, the unexplained face of someone can- Oh! Oh no! Oh lordy lord no! Oh that is creepy shit dude! Oh my god! Me seen standing right next to him. I got chicken So could skin. this be the ghost of Kate? The lady of the night who tragically lost her life inside the tavern? Or could it be the spirits of prisoners who were executed where the tavern now stands? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Encanto. Ghost Hunter Idol from the YouTube channel Ghost23 sets out to explore a remote waterfall in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by tall mountains. Idol has been told that the waterfall that, is haunted by an Why does that look so fucking beautiful? I mean, I would go there, but shit. If that shit was haunting, nope. Bye bye. Environmental spirit known as an Encanto, a mythical being that has the ability to appear in human form. Idol is completely Ooh. alone as he makes the difficult climb up the waterfall with nothing but a camera. The sun is setting fast, and with very little daylight left, Idol captures something truly chilling. Oh, hell to the no. And you can't see anything. What does this remind me of the fucking Blair Witch Project? Who is the person who was just standing there? A mysterious figure appears to be watching Idol as he's exploring and recording footage of the waterfall. Cuh. The person then just... Cuh. Oh no, dude, that is, that is fucking creepy. Oh, and it's fucking 31 minutes long. I am tired. Walks away, disappearing into thin air. Now, there is nowhere for this figure to have disappeared to, as there is a steep drop below and a tall, unclimbable cliff above. Idol is baffled and confused by what he just saw and can't find anywhere that the mysterious being could have went. It's almost as if it walked right into the waterfalls surrounding the mountain. So could this be the Encanto that is said to appear at the waterfall? Or something else? Tell me what you think. A cry for help. This next video is a bit of a mystery, as it was reposted to TikTok without a source or information. The video shows CCTV footage of a young girl as she walks around her home. What happens yeah. next is like something from a nightmare.
Oh, fuck that. She got away for all oh, Lights suddenly begin got... to flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. But the door won't open. As she door slams on the door, and crying out for help. Dude, he got so fucking close, too. Oh my god, that is one of the creepiest shits I've ever seen, dude. Oh my god. An ominous dark shape oh. can be seen slowly moving towards. Look how close it is going. It's right there, and then all of a sudden, fucking stops right fucking here. Uh, oh. Her one dark edge reaching out, almost like an arm ready to grab her. That's when someone, presumably her brother, comes to her rescue and opens the door for her to escape. Now, without a source, we'll probably never know what happened here. So, I ask you, is it real, or is it all? Just an elaborate hoax. You decide. Just fucking disappears. Just disappears. <laughs> Off the rails. Stephen Kerner is out on a drive through the countryside of Minnesota when he spots something very odd. Uh, oh boy. What the? Uh, well, that ain't good. Don't know who's running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. A small empty train car with an empty caboose slowly moves along the track, even though no one is driving it. Steven is a little confused by what he just witnessed, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. But after posting his bizarre encounter on TikTok, someone spots something that Steven didn't see. Not bad, but I didn't even see it neither. What? I mean, yeah. That white okay. thing? Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. This thing, right here. Ooh. What the f is that? Viewers are freaked out Ooh. when they see an odd pale figure seemingly hanging out of the back of the train. Many believe the tiny locomotive to be a ghost train. And some believe that the train might be haunted by a spirit. And others just think it's a very odd occurrence paired with pareidolia. But, what do you think this is? Dude, that is Let me know creepy. down in the comments. Just... A rough ride. TikTok user Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain bike after work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca, Mexico. One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that they've taken many times before. But this time, things take a terrifying turn. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills to this day. Did you see it? Someone or something appears out of nowhere and Jose barely manages to swerve around it. When slowed down and paused, the figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you Oh, I do not like that shit. That That is one of the creepiest fucking shits, bro. You can see what looks like <laughs> a face. A very disturbing... Nope. 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 No. If you don't, if y'all don't fucking like this, and y'all have, and y'all get fucking scared easily, fucking get off of this fucking YouTube video. I don't want to scare y'all, dude. This is creepy as fuck. Bing face. Many viewers of Jose's TikTok believe that he captured the infamous weeping woman La Llorona. A vengeful. That's not fucking La Llorona. That's not fucking La Llorona. You lit. La Llorona is a 
person who basically killed her kids in the fucking river or lake and is at the lake. Why would she ever be right there? Just walking around. You crazy, dude. The spirit of Mexican lore that mourns the loss of her children. But what do you think this is? Let me know. Let's not lie, the road now. Exploration gone wrong. Two friends decide to explore an abandoned industrial park at an undisclosed location in China. The site has been abandoned for over three years, and most of the entrances have been locked shut to prevent intruders and squatters. But this doesn't stop the two explorers as they manage to find a way inside. Okay. Why would you go in there if it's abandoned and shit? I would, but I do not want to get caught and go to jail. Have you thought of that? Okay, okay. Ooh. They start to explore the construction floor by floor. That's when they spot something absolutely unnerving. Ooh. Dude, it's gonna be in the fucking window. Oh. Hey, they got good chairs though. Did you see it? Someone appears to be sitting on a chair. I love that. Did you see it? I thought that bitch was standing up. They're inside one of Oh, okay. Nah, I'm not taking one of those fucking chairs. <laughs> Fuck that. I got a good gaming chair. Right there. The empty offices. The cameraman calls out to his friend and they quickly turn back and check out the room. What the f But there's no one there. What the f I would be saying that too. So did they accidentally capture a paranormal event? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Unwanted guest. In this next creepy- Ooh, unwanted guest. I want to see what's about to happen next. Ooh, rhymes! Video, two police officers are alerted by an Airbnb homeowner who suspects someone has broken into her house. The tax act, you what, what seems to be the problem? I, I left for a while to go shopping and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke it. The homeowner says the house should be empty but is worried that an intruder might be inside. The two officers make their house, way into the bro. house as their body cameras record the entire incident. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. One of the officers is checking out the downstairs bedroom. And this is when things start to get weird. Yeah, like they do this type of thing. Flashlight right here, making sure, and a gun right here so they can see who it is. Anyone inside? A loud bang can dude. be heard in the- He got creeped the fuck out when he heard the fucking bang noise, dude. At the same time, strange interference comes through the radio. The officer now heads upstairs, and his body cam starts to experience strange video glitches. What happens next is downright chilling.
Police! Anyone inside, make yourself known. Oh, dude, they're doing their... B the cops are doing their fucking best to see who the fuck this man is. Oh, fuck that closet. <laughs> this bitch is opening every fucking door. I'm not gonna lie with you, this is getting fucking creepy. Ooh. Every window, every fucking pull. So he just fucking got out. Bruh. Down there, clear. Was, it, was he actually running at him? Oh my god! Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. Now, understandably, this police officer is done with this house. Two doors open on their own without explanation, and when the officer is about to go downstairs, the loud sound of charging footsteps or stomping can be heard. Oh my, oh my God, dude, I feel bad for this man. He was literally trying to do his job to protect this fucking woman, and all of a sudden, fucking. This bitch really let the cops into a fucking demon. Why would you ever do that? Right behind him. He swings around, but again, no one there. Nothing. This footage was later released as the officer claimed to have experienced paranormal activity while inside the house. So just what do you think is going on here? Is this Airbnb haunted? Let me know down in the comments. An odd intruder. A woman in Jamaica steps outside to retrieve something from her car, but she doesn't know that an absolutely chilling event is about to occur. We can see some strange translucent shape charge out of the woods near her house and run right inside the front door. Now whatever this is does not seem to be any kind of compression glitch. The woman in the video is perfectly clear and also the figure approaches the light and still remains an odd indistinguishable mist. But is it supernatural? And if not, just what is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. The secret to making a tasty Jesus turkey pinwheel? Surprise. Make it with Hillshire Farm lunch meat. Jerry. After three years of living a happy, peaceful life in their apartment in the United Arab Emirates, Zark, his wife, and son suddenly begin to experience terrifying, unexplained activity. Oh, hell no. And it was fucking perfectly fine? What the hell just ha What happened? Let me just check.
Dude, it's like three fucking three in the morning. Don't open the door. It's coming from the cupboard. Nothing. Nothing. Could you stop? Oh my god. Besides hearing knocking, banging, and scratching, the family has a truly bizarre scare when one day they inexplicably find maggots all over their apartment. What? Me asking my wife not to show fear or she would scare our son. Wife says she has phobia of worms. Zark explains that he's a skeptic but that he's become increasingly more alarmed by his son's unusual behavior. The young boy claims he sees someone named, quote, Jerry. And that Jerry... Oh, no, kid. No. ...isn't always friendly. Zark and his wife don't believe the boy at first, but when one day he complains about Jerry again, they decide to check their CCTV camera and are shocked by what they find. She literally said, Jerry. Oh, that's my stuff. Mommy, Jerry, chocolate me. Jerry, there's nothing. I can't see this. The book moving. Yeah. Needless to say, Zark and his wife now believe that Jerry might be something real after all. And whatever this presence is, it seems to become increasingly more aggressive. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. Someone get over there. What? Yeah. Objects around the house are moved and thrown, but nothing compares to what happens on another night while the family is fast asleep in bed. Zark is suddenly woken up by the unexplained sound of running water. Scooter being near the door before sleeping. Oh, did you see that shit? Right there, that wasn't there before. A black figure, bro. Ugh. Still there. 
that's nothing, I don't think. Don't open the door, don't open the door! Okay. Get the fuck out of Zark there. Zark hears the sound of running water and discovers get that the both the Get the fuck out of there. Faucet in the kitchen and the bathroom have mysteriously turned on by themselves. Zark then hears loud banging and the sound of someone running. He then captures a strange small smoke-like figure moving right in front of him. Zark is freaked out by what he has just experienced, so he checks his CCTV footage to see if anything else was captured that night. When he rewinds his footage back to just before the running water woke him, he is shocked by what his CCTV captured. Oh. Ghost walks along with Scooter while Scooter goes near bedroom. Ghost goes in kitchen. Oh no. Dude, they really don't give a fuck. What does that look like a fucking girl? All translucent figure can be seen walking right beside a scooter that seems to move across the floor. Zark is now convinced that his apartment is haunted by something that he can't explain. Could this presence be what his son calls Jerry? Let me know what you think. Jerry. You can follow Zark's continuing paranormal story over on the YouTube channel, Zark Scary Haunting. Thanks so much for watching. I'm still trying to get that upload schedule back on track. So please hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss. All right. Hey, y'all go follow fucking Nuke's top five. I am going to be out of here, but thank y'all so much for 72 subscribers. I hope that y'all are doing an amazing day and I can't wait for everything. Actually, 74. Thank y'all so much for 74 goddamn subscribers. Y'all are amazing. I just want you to know that everything is going to be okay. And thank you for watching my YouTube videos. I love y'all so much. And I'm probably going to post this as soon as I can. I am so fucking tired right now. But it's all good. I love y'all so much. And I can't wait to do everything with y'all. I love y'all. And I hope that tomorrow is going to be an amazing day. And I just want y'all to know. I love y'all. Peace out. My name is Tyler. I hope that y'all are doing good. And see you on a whole different video. On a whole different new other video. Peace out, my brothers and sisters. Bye-bye.